everybody. Welcome into HelenKennard.com. I'm Helen Kennard, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstration and Demonstrator. Woo. I'm so glad you can come. I hope you will say hello when you get here so I'll know who I'm stamping with tonight. I've got a really cute cord. It's a sneak peek of one of my uh, cords I'm going to be making next week in my um, Charming Duck uh, pond class and it's really cute I love this paper I love the stamp set the dies everything about it and after tonight you'll see why <laughs> again welcome in please say hello I'm gonna um, I'm gonna come in close so you can see how cute this card is isn't that adorable I want to show you um, what makes it so cute. First of all, you have this really, really cute um, stamp set. You make me happy. Happy birthday. Hello, friend, and have a lovely day. Now you've got a mama duck, a daddy duck baby ducks, um, cattails, lily pads, frogs, everything you can imagine in, in this stamp set. That's so, that's what's so cool. And then the dies, look at that. You've got all the cattails that you can surround your scene with. You can cut out both of these, the frog, the baby, all of that. It's got um, just lots and lots of pieces and different ducks. Let me show you this. See all the ducks you can, these are baby ducks. Lily pads, lily pads, flowers, ducks, more ducks. Now, look at this paper. Aren't they beautiful? I love these colors. You can look at that. I've already cut out one, two. Um, <laughs> you can cut these out. See those? Uh, cut those out. Look at that. Lots of little ducks that you can cut out of the paper. Or you can stamp them, color them in your cell, which is what I did here, and then cut them out. <laughs> lots and lots of choices. If you don't have time to stamp and color it out, just uh, cut it out. If you do and just want to color them in yourself, then do that. That's what's so neat about this bundle. Now. I think this bundle is on uh, back order right now, but um, for sure it's going to be coming back, so you don't want to miss this one. This one is adorable. Um, lots and lots of choices. Let me get everything out of the way so I don't... But look, I want to show you some of the paper. Let's see, here's more choices. Lots and lots of ducks, mama ducks, baby ducks, daddy ducks, and then lots and lots of scenes. Look at that, really pretty flowers, more ducks. Yeah, there's just so much. I love this one too, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And this is just the front of the cards. See families? Is that what that's called when you have... Um, this is the one we're using tonight. Cattails and the... Um, this looks like... Um, pebbled. Hey Diana, thanks for stopping by. 
Do you have the duck pond bundle? Such a fun, fun bundle. Or sweet, actually. Um, really a cool set. And drop something on my thing. But anyway, um, love this whole suite, especially the paper. It's so, so pretty. But let me show you the card we're going to... Well, I showed you what card we're making tonight. This is um, Pretty Peacock. I think this is Pebbled. What is that? Pebbled? Pebbled Path. Yeah, there you go. And then the cattails I was just showing you. Um, and then it has lily pads. Now this one I this one I cut out, but tonight we're gonna stamp it, color it, and then um, cut it out. And then I had a really cool uh, technique. I don't know if you can see it, but you really can't in this one. But I'm adding some color to this, and then put some water on it, so you can kind of can you see it? Yeah, a little bit right there. But I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to cut out our um, base, which is 4 and 4 by 11. And then we're going to uh, score it at 5 and a half. I'm going to set this aside. Now, what am I doing with my... Here it is. I'm going to um, take my 6x6 six six and I'm going to cut it into uh, 3. 3 inches. So I've got two pieces a three inch wide. Now the first one I'm going to make into five and a fourth and that's the piece that's going to go on this side on this side. Okay, so it's going to go like that and then this one so it's three I'm going to make this four and a fourth I just like it. I just like it. My husband just brought me some tea. I haven't been having these coughing spells. I normally have them um, in the winter time. But for some reason, I've been having them lately. So that was real sweet of him to do that. Okay, now look. Do you see the... Um, pretty peacock in there. That's so pretty, isn't it? All right, so let's go ahead and lay these down. That's all there is to it. Have y'all noticed my um, band-aid again? Today's the day that um, I went and had more cut out. You know, um, that's the spot that ended up being cancer. And she didn't get it all, so I had to go back today. And y'all, I don't know why in the world it has bothered me. But I was so worked up about it. I don't know. And I knew it wasn't going to hurt. It doesn't. But by the time I got there, I was really worked up. <laughs> I, um, you know, I didn't. I didn't cry or, you know, any of that boo-hooing, but I did not want to be there. Okay, try to, um, you want to try to make it the same width right there. I, I After it was over with, I came back and I'm telling you I took a nap, which is probably why, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> I look like a mess, and it's because I am a mess. All right, let me show you what we're going to do with this. I've cut two pieces of, um, and, and thank goodness I did all this before I, I went, because I just, I just got up. Honestly, I was so, 
so worked up about it. And, it, and it's not a big deal. That's what I don't understand. It was the, she has this little, I forgot what it's called. It's called something. And, and she, you, you know, scraped it. It's this thing that scrapes it. Anyway, um, so I kept my eyes closed the whole time. And she said, now, nurse, what did we do last time? And she said, we did an eight. And, um, and the doctor said, well, I think we should do a 12 this time. Now, y'all, I don't know what she meant by that and don't want to know. But the next thing she said now, she was using the um, cauterizer to burn it, you know, burn it so it would stop bleeding. She goes, I think we need to go up to five. Y'all, couldn't they sign language that or whisper <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I just was a mess. I, I don't know why, but I was. I, you know, if it was, if I was the nurse helping her, I'd be fine. If it was on somebody else, I think it's just, you know, the fact that it was me and, and I knew what they were doing. So, um, anyway, we are going to make a pond um, on a half, half of this. Now, this is pretty peacock, and it's very dark. You see that? Let me let me go down here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to start off. Do you see all that? Oh, see? And just keep adding it. Didn't want it to be that dark, but it's okay. I like going in reverse as well. Kind of smooth it out. There. Okay. Darker than I wanted. Oh. Now look. I've already started. I'm going to be black and blue already. All right. Okay. This is the part that I told you I added some water to it to give it some, I, don't, I want to say bubbly. Um, now, I could spray it, but it didn't make the um, bubbles big enough, so I'm going to just put some water on it and let it drips. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Very nice. While that's drying, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Doesn't that look nice? It's going to look like this. Thank you, Diana, for sharing it. Hey, Naomi. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Kathy has it, yeah. Aww. Oh. That's right. Sometimes we just don't know. <laughs> need to know. <laughs> Which is why I kept my eyes closed. But, um. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. I can see it's still a little bit wet there. That is too funny. Okay, so the next thing, I, one of the dyes that come with this is this, oh, I left it, I left it in there, but it's two of these. It's one dye, and you cut out two of these at the same time. So, I did it in white because I want to show you how to um, color it. Shoot, I wish I had something besides white on white. Let's see, maybe I do. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. All right, so you find the right side. Okay. 
which is this side. Yeah. And then I took the Granny Apple Green marker and we're just going to color it in. Now the tips of this are in green. Now if you want a lot of shading, you would use your um, blends. I'm just going to use markers because I think it's fine. There. Okay, so that's Granny Apple Green. And this is the um, peach pie. I'm going to bring it down so you can see in the. I forgot this needs to be green. There. I'm really, really liking this peach pie color. Now with markers you get you know, the color. So no matter how much you put on there it's gonna it's gonna be, isn't that pretty? Yeah, just that simple. Okay. There's not any shading that you put on. Alright. Why don't we while well, that's still um, drying, let's go ahead and we're gonna stamp the little um, duck and memento. Now, there's a lot of choices to make. One is, is I can just go ahead and use my markers to color him in. Or my blends. I could use my blends. It does come with um, pieces that, that, you know, it's two-step. It's a two-step stamp. So like this one right here is his um, beak and his feet. Now remember, do not mash it. Just tap, tap, tap it. Okay, see how I've tapped it. And then you line them up. Ooh, perfect. All right, so you got that. We're going to do a little bit of both. We're going to use the two-step stamp. Okay, the other piece, the part that goes to it is this. And when you use this dark, it's too dark, I think. So I'm going to stamp off once. And line it up. I line it up with his head first, and then the rest of his body. See how I did that? Okay, very pretty. Now, I could just leave it like that if I wanted to, but I'm going to um, color it in a little bit with the peach his um what is this his chest and then um, a gray want to use a gray I'm using um, smoky slate and I'm gonna do the rest of his body
Can you see that? That may have been still too dark. Then we are going to cut him out. I brought, I brought my uh, mini stamping cut. Okay. See, I got my little sticker here to hold it down with it. Oh. Um, why did I do that? I put it, I put it so that I have to do it with my left hand. Okay, I'm going to do it with my left hand. There you go. Turned out so so cute. Okay. All right. Let's see if this is dry. Yep. See how good that turned out. Yeah. Well, at least I think it did. <laughs> All right. Oh, there. Ooh. All right. I want to show you what I did on the um, on my first card. What did I do with that? Can y'all see? When I went to put it down, I put it down so <laughs> the water was on the, was sideways instead of straight up and down. Look at that. So the water, I guess, is more on his um, right side. But anyway, I'm <laughs> going to try not to do that again. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and put the little cattails. And I put those on with our um, glue dots. We, we are having a dry spell. That's, the temperature was 91 today when I was out. I'm going to put it over here. Same thing with this one. You just roll up the, um, you just roll it up. And then put it in spots that um, can hold it. This way you don't have to put on dimensionals, but it still gives you a little bit of dimension without being flapped. There. <laughs> okay. Now our duck is going to go right here. Well, let's put our little lily pads on. kind of want to ha have him so that he's like, you know, on something, so he's not just floating in the air. 
make sure I put it on the right side. So I'm having um, this class um, next Tuesday, and tomorrow is the last day to sign up for it. You can um, take it in the morning or the evening or to go. So if you're interested, um, let me know and I'll get you on the list. The duck is definitely dimensional. No, he's such a cutie. <laughs> All right, walking in the water. Okay, now let's put this on with dimensionals. So we're down at the trailer this weekend and one of the neighbors in the in the trailer park came up and said, y'all be careful over there. There's a um, mama skunk and a baby skunk and they got a hold of our dog. <laughs> it's like, oh no. How'd you get it all off? Well, they used um, peroxide. I forgot what all they said. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, I just can't imagine. All right, last thing is the sentiment, which I'm going to use the Hello Friend. I saw a bear, baby bear this weekend. Y'all, where we where our trailer is out on the um, coast is so far out there. It really is. And, and I love that part of it. I mean, um, when we start getting close to it, you know, we lose cell reception. So um, I have to get off the phone. But um, that's part of the reason I love it. But on the other hand, it's like, oh my gosh, they've got bear and, well, of course, deer and skunks and possum and you name it. And that's out there. Very pretty. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. It's going to get pretty loud. So y'all be, um, I'll be finished in just a minute. Don't see how cool that was. I love it. I still, after all these years, love watching it melt into to that. Now, because I'm going to be putting it here like that or up on that, I'm going to put one dimensional here, but two over here because I don't, I want it up on the same um, level as this. So I'll put two on there on this side and one on this side. See how it looks real um, even all the way across? It doesn't look... Uh, 
It doesn't look straight, but it's even. <laughs> there you go. I don't have any of the dappled dots. Um, that's the only bad part, but I think he's a cutie pie. And this whole set, you guys, is so fun. Um, I like it. I know. I hope you do too. Very simple and fun. These are um, made with the deckled circles. I think it's six and seven. So fr from the middle. So you know, go up um, six and seven on the deckled circles. So um, yeah, I enjoyed making it. Let's see what's going on with oh this weekend I'm having my craft sale. Um, it's Friday from 11 to 6 and Saturday. I forgot what time it starts. I want to say 10 to 12. Um, and then from 12 to 4, we have a Stampin' Up! event. Oh, and we get to use some new product. I'm so excited about it. It's called Creativity Now. And it's going to be using a new suite that comes out in the fall so uh, we get a, a sneak peek of that and it is beautiful it's just you're gonna love it so so we get to make some projects this weekend um doing that on saturday um and i told you about my craft sale um here at my house and then i'm having a, a class a duck <coughs> charming duck class uh, next week. So if you're interested in that, uh, get up with me so I can get you on my list. But um, if you have any questions about anything, let me see. Oh, thank you, Diana. Sometimes we just don't need to know what the doctor is doing. That's right. Oh, Naomi, I saw your um, picture in I almost started crying looking at it. It was so beautiful. You're such a talented painter and artist. Um, and to recognize your father like that. Or was it your grandfather? It was just beautiful, beautiful. And um, I just want you to know my, I sent a hug. <laughs> Um, Father's Day was hard for so many people, and uh, I'm sure it was for you, too. But anyway, all right, everybody. I hope you all have a great week. I'll see you next Wednesday. Uh, just contact me if you have any questions about anything. Take care. Bye-bye.